Hello friends! I got a slightly different video for you guys. This is May Mary Puros, 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 okay, a clear oil. It is not technically an oil paint, it is a medium, and I had this in an earlier video, but I didn't actually like, test it out. This is clear oil. It is essentially clear oil paint. Um, what I wanted to do was to get a full-size tube of this stuff, because this is the size of it next to a normal size tube. Um, it's just 15 milliliters roundabout, but I can't find it anywhere. This came in a sample size kind of kit that I got for about 35, 40 bucks on Amazon. Um, but the full size bottle of this is straight up not available anywhere in the United States. The only place I could find a normal size bottle was, um, Jackson's Art Supply, which is a UK art supplies and they're back ordered. I have been on their list for like two, for about a month and just... They're not, they're not getting it. So I have decided to just go ahead and do this video with a sample size kit, a sample size bottle. This is a solid 15 milliliters. It has no pigment information, possibly because there is no pigment. I don't know what Rev3 means, but it just, just, yeah, that's all the information we got. It's clear oil. From what I understand, it's just clear oil paint, which might be a good use of um, a instead of all the toxic mediums. Making oil paints thinner is a big deal in the oil painting community for those that don't know. So there's been a lot of attempts at making non-toxic versions, but the good old turpentine still seems to stick around. And I don't like using turpentine because I'm in a tiny New York City apartment with very poor ventilation and I don't trust myself. So we are just going to take a look at this clear oil we are going to test, we're going to see how it works with a modern paint with just, I've been using a lot of Egyptian violet lately. I've fallen in love with this color. It's probably at least a little transparent, but to me, it's it's pretty opaque to me. And be, and the most opaque paint I have is actually this vintage uh, modular, New York City noises from the window outside. Um, yeah, this is from the 70s or 80s around about. I had a video on this, but this is the thickest, most opaque paint I have right now. So we're just going to see how it goes. And yeah, and we got our usual stuff and that's what we're doing. And as you can see, it looks, it looks more opaque than it is, but we are going to put a little bit out. It looks like a white clump of bloop. It looks, yeah. But when you actually put it down, it just, it's clear oil. Nothing happens. Nothing happens. It is transparent. That is it. It is clear oil. It's exactly what it says on the tin. And that's what we want. I heard also a secret that if you get this and you have a dry painting that has already dried over and you want to blend more colors on top, to put a layer of this. And then it'll be like the surface is wet again. And that could be a trick some people could, could work with. But now we are going to get the Egyptian violet out. Because this is some of my favorite purple paint. I have a vintage tube of Egyptian violet too. And I love it. And it But it dries immediately for some reason. And we're going to take a little bit. And it makes it... I might have put too much purple. I might have put too much purple. But it's like... Bunk makes it it makes it thinner it does in fact make it thinner hold on a second we got to clean off the palette knife because i did this incorrectly yes i did yeah. whoop garbage noises and something fell down yep but we should also look at it normally without any thinnings because that's how how you're supposed to look at stuff but i'm dumb so that didn't happen we got yeah so what this does essentially just it thins it out which is what you want which is the biggest deal in all the deals and just and we're going to look at it with the super thick the modular green garbage noises i'm gonna put a little bit more out just a little bit more, just a little bit more, okay. But also because I'm pretty sure I didn't do this correctly with the purple, we're going to take a bit 
and we're just gonna just going to do that a little bit more and like look at that look at how well that just yeah how transparent it gets that's what you look how opaque that is compared yeah so that's that's what you want from a medium like this and i don't and it has no fumes it smells like nothing and a lot of people will probably be very intrigued by that yeah. now we got the modular green we are just it's a little harder to get this out of the bottle because it is vintage it's older but also for those that want to look at all the information on the back it has some pigments it's from permanent pigments yeah i suspect from the 70s 80s maybe we're gonna look at it normally like just gonna go like that look at because that is thick af noises probably should have done this the other way but okay here we go and look how thin look what happens Yeah! It thinned out. Yes. That's what you want. You want it to get super thin. You probably need more, I think, more gel per oil, like maybe two to one? Because that's like... It could be thinner. You could be doing more with it. But it's definitely something of a good, good uh, substitute for all the terps. Because it does thin out. I'm going to put... I don't want to waste too much of this, but... Because I don't know if I can get any more. But like, there we go. Put a little bit more of the clear oil. Gonna mix even more. Mix even more. But And oh, the consistency becomes like... Becomes much more liquidy. It loses all the... Uh, it loses all the everything. Whoop. Yeah. It becomes... It becomes a lot more liquidy when you mix the clear oil in, which is, I guess, something that you want. Not sure, but when it's thick like this, it's more oil paint, like thick kind of paste. And then it becomes very liquidy, li liquidy, I can, words, when it, when it thins out. And that's kind of what you want. It's a good, I like this. I hope I can get more of it without buying a full $40 thing and only getting 15 milliliters out of it. Um, yeah, I can't tell you where to buy this. If anyone in the UK has any connections, let me know. Um, I guess it might be in stores in the UK. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I'm definitely not, unable to get any of this here. Um, yeah. There's also, Michael Harding has this new Miracle Medium, and that's not available here yet either. <laughs> and if it does, I'll show you. If I can somehow get hold of that, I'll make a video of that too. But yeah, it's clear oil. It's essentially clear oil paint that you can paint with and make things thin. And yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you guys can get some of this if you like this. Thank you. Uh, like and subscribe, I guess, if you want to. Thank you. Goodbye.